fresh satellite images adding new urgency in the hunt for debris from Flight 370. But it's one thing to have pictures from space of these potential objects, quite another to spot them with the naked eye much closer up. So far, searchers haven't found a single scrap from the plane. And as our Renee Marsh reports, conditions are so rough in that patch of the ocean, plane could, planes could be right on top of the debris and miss it. The search for Flight 370 is concentrated about 1,500 miles off Australia's west coast. Five countries photographed floating objects that could be linked to the missing plane. Australian satellites detected two, then the Chinese spotted this. The French photographed 122 objects. Thailand satellites spotted 300, and Wednesday the Japanese detected 10. But search crews eyeballing the Indian Ocean have not found a sign of Flight 370 or any floating objects believed to match those captured on satellite. It's not perfect. Uh, it's a combination of fallibility of the human eye, uh, the surface conditions. Bottom line, a visual search among waves that can be as tall as a two-story building is the best option, but not a perfect one. Assume a 100% coverage, meaning you're actually physically looking at every square inch of the search area. Uh, the best we normally get on a long-term average is about 78% probability of detection. And that's in calm water. Waldock predicts the waves in the Indian Ocean make detecting debris during a first search only about 50%. Big waves also make it hard for planes and ships to detect objects on their radar. The type of... Uh wreckage or object that we're looking for is so close to the waterline that our radars would not be able to pick it up. So we are very reliant on lookouts who use binoculars. With weather grounding air searches, Waldock says twice as many ships are needed. You still got to go out and you still got to look. And one of the things that uh, you start believing in if you do this enough is luck. He says the best bet for crews, focus on finding the larger debris field. It's easier for the human eye to detect. Renee Marsh, CNN, Washington.